Oh my gosh, somebody's actually awake besides me. It's amazing. This lighting is not going to work. I, I have the lighting on. Let me do this. That's not going to work. I'm going to make it a little dark. Maybe put this on. Eh. It's a little better. Hello. Oh, who's up at this time of night? I was going to open my salt shaker, and then I said, well, why don't I do it, why don't I do it live? If I'm going to open my salt shaker anyway, why not do it live? It's a bonus live stream. Hey, Fixie Clary is there. Arizona Jumper, Thomas Darwin. You get bonus extra content for staying up late. Casey said, got this notification from Discord. That's the way to go. See, this is the benefit of staying up late. You get the special extra content. This is, this is super fan content. I wasn't going to do a stream, but, uh, but I, I got this salt shaker to open. I don't know. I think, it, I think one time in my life I've ever had a salt shaker. So I use this salt shaker. I, I can't. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that I don't have a salt shaker. Um, so um, so I, I have this salt shaker, and I actually refill this with salt. I refill this with salt. I just never want to bother to get a salt shaker. And then I'm like, you know, because I'm like, this works fine. It doesn't, though, because, like, right now, like, something's gotten really clogged up. So this isn't even working anymore. I, I've had this for, like, two years. Um, and I think it's spilling out the back, too. So, but I, I'm not a fancy person, and I didn't need a fancy salt shaker. So I got a, I got a $2.99 salt shaker on, a $2.99 salt and pepper shaker, $2.99 on uh, Target. So, so we're going to open it right now. I was just going to open it. Yes, I've been refilling this. I've been refilling this. All right, we're going to open this. Yeah, it's such a big box. Are you ready, guys? We're going to see how it works. Bonus... Bonus content, bonus content for the diehard viewers. Well, you know, it's already bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is a nice size for $2.99. Look at these things. For $2.99, look. No, they're not that small. My gosh. I thought they were going to be, I thought they were going to be smaller than this. I thought like if you're at a Chinese food restaurant, they have like a little small salt shaker. That was going to be like that. Look at that. It's not even that small. Oh, let's take these out. Look at this. Now, the reviews on the Target site, it's weird. I feel like, you feel like the reviews on the Target site are probably fake. But the reviews on the Target site, some people said the one drawback with these is the tops dent very easily. The tops dent easily. Who cares, though, for $2.99? Look at this. Yeah, it's glass. It is glass. So I'll finally not have to keep using this. Nice regular shakers, I guess. Two of them, ank by Anchor. These things supposedly dent easily. Two ninety nine. All right, now what I need to do, we'll see if they work. No, they're not grinders. So I don't even need, I just gotta, I gotta wash one of these out, right? So what I need to do now, I need to wash this out before I put salt in it. Hold on a second. All right, so... I'm gonna wash the. I'm gonna wash all of this. Here, let's twist this a little that way. Whoop. Here we go. We're gonna wash it now. Can I 
kind of hard to wash. You put a drop of soap in there. I'm going to shake it. I put some soapy water in there, and now I'm going to shake it around. I'm shaking the soapy water around. I hope this works. Now wash the outside of it. I mean, I think it's pretty clean now. I think it's pretty clean. I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta dry out the in, before I put the salt in, I gotta dry out the inside, right? I gotta dry out the inside of it. So I gotta use, will this go in here? <laughs> will my, will my dish towel fit inside? I might need to use a paper towel. I'm sorry, folks. You know what? I'll reuse the paper towel when I'm done. This isn't going to wreck the paper towel. I'll just, I'll, I'll reuse the paper towel. Look, see? See? This would be good, this would be a good, this would be good for uh, shipping a bottle. When I was a kid, my family used to go to Cape Cod, and there were lots of ships and bottles. Then I never see them in my life since then. Hang on a second here. I, I gotta see you better. We're yeah, we're so late at night that there's not even mods here. We out we outlated the mods. You know, I have I actually uh, I have this thing which I'm gonna do a stream on at some point, which is I'm not gonna use it right now because it's loud, but it's um. I could dry it with this. I got to do a stream on this. This is like a, com it's an air blower. It's amazing. You know, like compressed air, this thing actually shoots f more, uh, stronger compressed air than a compressed air can. And you know, they have to throw out the can, so it's good for the environment. But this thing is great. There's a lot of usages for this. It's an air blower. It's fantastic. So... But I'm not going to use it now. It's too, it's too late. It'll wake up my neighbor. So I'm not going to use it now. But that thing is great. All right, I think we're almost dry. You, you can do anything. What do you do with it? You think of things. So I used to clean my computer. Uh, it's great for dusting things. Like if there's weird stuff that has dust on it and you can't get the dust off, you use it for that. If you need to, like, dry a shirt... Like, so once, sometimes I spilled some water on my shirt right before I'm going on the air for Jennifer TV, and I use that, and it dries it off really fast. All right, guys, we're, we're ready here. I think we're ready. This is now clean. That's good to go. This one... Oh, thank you, Dizzy Dale. Thank you, Fixie Clary and Dizzy Dale. Oh, Fixie Clary says my roommate has the white version of that blower. Yeah, that blower, it's really good. <laughs> um, so, uh, so we'll do we'll do a, we'll do a live stream on it. Yeah, Darren says even Idaho Star is here. Oh, Idaho Star is here. Idaho Star made the stream. No, I don't dry myself with it. Me so hungry. It's really good, like, for dusting things. Like, there's certain things you can dust with, like, a cloth, and it won't get all the dust off. That thing will get the dust off. All right, guys, so remember, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. 
So I have been for two years refilling this salt shaker because I didn't want to bother getting a salt shaker. And then finally this stopped working. It's clogged. It doesn't work. And I was like, what am I doing? I got to get a salt shaker, but I don't need a, I don't, I, I don't need a fancy one. And so I found on Target this $2.99 set of salt sh and pepper shaker. Two of them. So it's basically two salt shakers if I don't use the pepper one. Um, and it's, uh, I, it's already bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be like half the size of this. So I have just rinsed out this and cleaned this and this. And I'm going to try my new salt shaker. Now I'm going to pour salt in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the salt out of here. I'm going to throw this out. How about this? So I'm going to pour the salt out of here. We'll save the salt from here. And let me do this. Hang on a second here. Is that going to work? It's working. Oh, it's working. It's holding the salt against gravity. Oops. It's working. Hey guys, did I tell you it's working? Oh, thank you, Drew Baker. Uh, Drew Baker. Drew, you violated the content rules. I'm removing your comment, Drew Baker, but thank you for your support. <laughs> but your comment just got removed. All right. Hopefully, hopefully I can throw this away. Never again. Never again. But I gotta get all the salt out. It's still some in there. <laughs> Good enough. This thing doesn't screw on that easy. It seems like it's not it's not threaded that well. But it did work. It's not it's not very smooth screwing on. But it did screw on, okay. That looks good. I wonder if this is gonna work. Let's see. So I need to dump some in my hand. Ooh, now it comes out pretty fast. See, look, hold on. It come, now, now maybe, maybe the thing is when you use salt shakers at restaurants, a lot of times they have gunk in them, so it doesn't come out that fast. So this actually comes out pretty fast. You gotta be careful here, so watch this. So just in that little tip, I got that much salt. So, you gotta be careful with this one. See, I just shook it a couple times and I got that much salt. Tilt and tap it. One of our viewers said I should tilt it and tap it. Oh, no, it's this, it's the same holes on both. Same holes on both. Oh, cover some of the top with your finger. That's a lot. Now, a viewer said I could tilt it and tap it. Oh, that works. Hold on, look at this. Look, I can do this. That works great. That's not that much at all. Right? Uh, Drew's, get, Drew's getting his comment removed again. <laughs> Misha got it. So, now, so I guess it's interesting. That's what the holes look like. So the holes are a little big. The holes are, I'd say my review is, yes, they're only $2.99, but this is, it actually looks kind of nice. For $2.99, I got a salt and pepper shaker, right? Um, and um, I haven't even used this one. Um, the glass is nice, it's big. The salt comes out kind of fast. Although I gotta say, you know, when I use my salt, usually it coming out too fast is not a big issue. Uh, Francisco says I could tape up some of the holes. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think I'll probably get, you know, for, for, for the moment, for the moment, I'll probably just have to, um, you know, just like do this with the salt. Like if I do it like this, if I, if I do that, that's not that bad. Right? Put rice in it. Oh, like dry rice? Is that, is, that what, is that why people put rice in the salt shakers? Is because it keeps it from coming out too fast? 
What are your thoughts on this? Like, isn't that, isn't, isn't that a problem with all shot sh salt shakers? Oh, so it doesn't stick, to, Misha says, so it doesn't stick together. Keeps it from clumping. I see. Oh. Rice absorbs the moisture. Right. Okay. So anyways, um, it's two ninety nine. At least I have a, I don't have to use this anymore. I'm going to throw this in the garbage. I'm actually throwing this in the garbage right now. I've had this salt shaker for nearly two years. This one, I've reused this. I'm going to take a photo of it. I'm going to take a photo of it and then throw it in the garbage. Um, I'm gonna, I have this one. This looks more normal. Um, it comes out pretty fast. So, and, but the holes are the same on both shakers. They're no different on either shaker. So, I, I mean, the proof is going to be when I... What I'll have to see is... I'll have to try using this while I eat, right? Uh, oh, hold on a second. Um, I'll, have to try, I'll have to try this while I eat, and then, um, and then see, like, is it annoying when I'm pouring it to have to pour lightly? Or will I just get used to it? So, anyways, I, I'll say, I'll give it a B right now. I'm giving it, I'm grading it a B. And, um, and we'll go from there. So again, it looks great. Um, the one issue is that um, it comes out kind of fast. So that's, uh, Tony the Night Owl says, don't pour tap lightly. It's interesting, though. Oh, um, Joe Arrow says, try kosher salt. Those holes look big enough for kosher salt. You know, I like popcorn. One time I bought on Amazon this salt called popcorn salt. And I guess the idea of it in theory was that it's very, very fine salt, like the kind they use at the movie theaters. And I tried it, and it wasn't any better for popcorn than regular salt. It was no better whatsoever. Anyways, so, yeah, so this, this is where we're at. I'll, I'll have to just, I'll have to use it and see. I'll have to use this and see, am I annoyed that the salt comes out fast or do I not care? I mean, I'm used to this. See, I'm used to this. These, look at the whole size on, on these. The whole size is really small. Compare the whole size. See? See? All right, we'll have to see. I, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Oh, I'll be, I cook, I have stuff here all the time to use it. Uh, Tink thinks I'll get used to it. Which is better, this or this? <laughs> Lego says smaller holes are better. Now, some, some people are saying put tape over half the holes. Let me ask you this, though. Um, so, I don't really feel good about taping holes. I mean, because if you put tape on the holes, won't the tape stick, to, won't the salt will, like, go up and hit the glue and then come back down? And then I'll have salt with glue on it in here, right? So, I don't want to tape the holes. Oh, tape from the inside. Tape from the inside. That's interesting. It seems like a little, it seems like kind of a long way to go, doesn't it? Taping it on the inside. Doesn't that seem like a long way to go? No? I mean, at that point, it just seems like so much effort.
Nosy Rosie thinks it's unnecessary. Hmm. Me so hungry says return it. Oh, I know, I'm not going to return it at this point. I'm going to I'm going to at least try it. I mean, why not try it? I could return it. We'll have to try it and see. I'm going to try it and see. N. Jackson says, just use it lightly. You'll figure it out. Michelle says, you'll get used to it. The problem is, what I, what I don't want it to be is, I don't want it to be like every time I use the salt shaker, I'm kind of annoyed. That wouldn't be good, right? You don't want that. You don't want every time you use the salt shaker to be annoyed. Green Eyed Lady says, you just use the tip and tap method. But do people do that? Do people do that for a salt shaker? A couple of people have mentioned tip it and tap it, but is that is that common for salt shakers or is that just like a fix you use when the salt shaker doesn't have small enough holes? Joe Arrow says hold it. People are saying it's normal. Alibaba says just a fixed. Rick Hoppy thinks I will be annoyed every time. See, like, if you do this, I guess you could just do this. See, this isn't bad. It's a, Am I going to want to do that? You kind of want to, like, do this all this, like this. The thing is, my problem is, my problem is, see, I'm so used to using this. This is little holes. I'm so used to using this that in my brain, I associate pouring salt with doing this. Like, I literally have to do it like that. So that's how I'm used to it, doing this. But that's because I've been using this. So maybe I'll get used to using this. Uh, Alibaba says you get your hole, the holes to what your preference is. That's why there's so, so many salt shakers in the stores. Why would they make it with big holes? <laughs> Why would they do this? Does that make any sense? Nosy Rosie says it's good to try new things. That's true. Francisco says, "Why would that's why it's 2.99? But is it really more expensive to make one with smaller holes in it?" It's very strange. Yeah, the, no, both of the caps have the same size holes. Davinia thinks it's for bigger salt chunks like pig salt. Do pepper shakers have bigger holes? Maybe what they did is they were they only wanted to make one size hole. Now N Jackson says smaller holes clog. That's what happened with this. The smaller holes in this clogged. Yeah, it's it's like I think what they did is like they made one they just made one uh, size. Put rice in it. Yeah, this I won't have a problem with this. I won't have a problem with it, uh, with the holes clogging. No, it's the same, it's the same. Missouri Cowboy says, learn to get gent be gentle and easy. Well, what we'll do, what I'm going to do, look, you know what? This is one of these things. This is one of these things. We'll spend more time talking about it than it'll actually take for me to try it. I'm going to need the salt shaker. I'm going to need it. In the, in the coming several days, I will need the salt shaker here. And I, I'll try it at a couple meals. I'll see how I like it. It's only two ninety nine. We'll see.
we'll just have to see. So anyways, this is the Anchor Salt in Pepper Trader. Salt and Pepper Shaker. It's kind of silly though, like, like, this could be such a good product if they just didn't make the hole so big. Like, you're so close. Like, you made the whole product. It's, it's great. It's $2.99. It looks good. And you just made the holes too big? Linda says I should put it in my hand before putting it on the food. That's too much trouble. That's too much trouble. Julie Graves says it's classy. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it and see. This was the only one remotely like this they had on, uh, on, uh, at, Wal at Target. All right. Well, look. I will, guys, I'm going to keep you posted. I'm going to keep you posted um, about what's going to happen. I, I, think, I think it'll be obvious. I think I'll try it in the next couple days, and it'll, be, it'll become pretty clear. I could sit here, you know, I could sit here and wonder how it's going to be, or I can just wait and I'll try it. I, I think it'll be obvious to me whether this is going to work or not, whether I should return it. So we'll just have to see. We'll just have it's it's uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. All right, so I'll I'll keep you posted. I will keep you posted. All right, well, so much for this stream. This was this was our this was our late night mini stream. Hey, thanks, Linda Belk and uh, <laughs> Linda says cook something and try it out now. No, I I used the grill. I cooked the I cooked the remainder of the burger. Where's the mini grill? Here, mini grill. I used it. Okay, so I'll use it the next couple days. We'll see how it goes. Hey, thanks, uh, Misha and Linda Belk and uh, Idaho Star were modding. And uh, hey, thanks, everybody, for joining me for this late night. This was a big help. You guys were a big help in figuring out the salt shaker. This is going to be a big deal. It's going to be very, it's very suspenseful whether it's going to work. This was sad, though. This one was so clogged up, I was, like, shaking it really hard. I couldn't get salt out of here. Hey, thank you, um, Ernesto, Snipchick, Dizzy Dale. Chris, Chris says, I hope it works out for you. Me, too. I do, too. James Gorman. Send me positive vibes. Send me positive thoughts about my salt shaker working out. Lee County weather, Bob Piffle. Uh, Janet Lance, Green Eyed Lady, Poetry Pebbles. I think we were too. Oh, oh, thank you, Bert Mack. That's very kind of you, Bert Mack. Thank you, Bert Mack. That's very nice of you. I, we, I think we were too late for the Philippines people there today. Even though the Philippines, it's probably only, you know, like 2 p.m. or something. Thank you, Bert Mack. That's very nice of you. All right. Aloha, Bert. Maybe Bert is in, uh, in Hawaii. Oh, Lego Mike says, hi, host. I think Lego Mike is impersonating a Philippines person. All right. Thanks. Uh, thank you to... Um, thank you to for watching, everybody. Thank you. Yes. Uh, NA, it was, a late, it was a late stream. Joseph Harper says, shouldn't have a problem. My salt shaker is about the same size. So let's thank the mods, everyone. Hey, thanks, Sugar Shack, for thanking the mods. Oh, all these fixes with the plastic wrap and the plastic and the tape, it's too much trouble. Come on, guys, too much trouble. At that point, I'll just get a different salt shaker. All right, guys, good night, Brandy. Good night, Lee County. Good night, Thomas Darwin. K 
Kay say, have a good night. Oh, Joanna77, Joanna missed it. Oh, Joanna77, Joanna, what happened with, why, why was there so many messages from Sharon last night? We got Joanna in the house. Joanna, can you tell us before we end the stream, why did Sharon post 20 messages with just a period? Hey, thanks, Shelly Reynolds. Thank you, Shelly, and Janet Lance. Maybe we'll get the end of our mystery. Is Joanna going to answer? Guys, we're going to find out what happened last night. Let's see. I don't know. She doesn't know, but she's okay. Joanna, did you watch the stream? Joanna, there were like 20 posts in about three minutes, all with just one or two periods. Watch the stream, Joanna, and see it. I'm glad she's okay, though. I wonder if Joanna watched it. Joanna, if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's really worth watching. Maybe that's all we're going to hear from Joanna. Maybe Joanna has left us. She popped in and then she left. All right. Anyways. Okay, guys. Well, it's good to know she's okay. Well, guys, thank you for joining me um, for this uh, review, initial review of this salt shaker. I'm very happy with a lot of it, but I'm unhappy with how big the holes are. So we'll just have to see. This is the Anchor 299 salt and pepper shaker from Target. We'll have to see how it works. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know in a couple days. In a couple days, I'll let you know. All right, 66 Miss, Pixie, Miss Pixie, Terra Rebel, Dizzy Dale, and all of our moderators. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up, guys. Thank you so much. And Pebbly Poop, thank you. Uh, thank you, Peebly Poop, or whatever how you spell it. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Linda, and all of our other, everybody else saying thanks. So uh, I will certainly keep you posted as to, uh, as to what's going on. All right? I will try to. Hey, thanks, Jan Porter, for saying thanks. Have a good, Darren Markley, have a good one, everyone. Have a good one. And who knows? And MS. And Kathy Paina. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, and thanks to all the moderators. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good day wherever you are, and I'll see you soon, and I will keep you updated on how the salt goes. See you later.